Today, for music, I'm actually going to be listening to the entire Vampire Weekend trilogy. They have three albums out. I really like their last album that they put out last year, and I've loaded all three on my iPod, and I'm going to listen to all three of them, starting with the first one. Let's get started. The first album, Vampire Weekend, I didn't listen to that much when it came out. I wasn't a big fan of it. But it's all right, it's got some good stuff. I definitely enjoyed it today. It kind of reminds me, uh, particularly this album, of uh, a couple guys out at the beach on spring break playing the congos out how it first starts, then maybe the sun goes down and they sort of start bringing out the electronic uh, instruments. Uh, but now let's listen to disc two, or album two, Contra. This particular album reminds me of a vacation I took to Maine. It had just come out and I listened to it a lot on that trip. So it always reminds me of Maine a little bit. Well, that was a short album, or at least it seemed to fly right on by, but I really enjoyed it. I think it's a step up from that first album. Let's go to album number three to complete the Vampire Weekend trilogy, Modern Vampire. I really like the third album a lot. It's really a uh, balance between feeling very intimate and yet being a very big sound. It's by far the best of the three Vampire Weekend albums. I absolutely have enjoyed the last one and I've enjoyed my entire day listening to the Vampire Weekend trilogy. I'd suggest you guys doing the same. You can uh, go to Spotify and listen to it. You can illegally download them. You can actually pay and download them on iTunes. Amazon, whatever. I'm not getting paid to plug any of this stuff, but go right ahead. Guys, I'm going to keep on biking into the world. Have a good one. Bye!